Hi everyone, we're back with Business on the Beach and this episode is all about feeling the fear and do it anyway. We're going to dive straight in because fear is an emotion. Fear is very, very important when it comes down to attacking what you want, attacking your business goals, attacking your dreams, and very, very often, it can come down to the fact that you hold yourself back more than anybody or anything else. Because the stories you tell yourself, the things that you think, the things that you feel can ultimately impact the way that you act and the results that you get. Now, fear is an emotion. Fear is natural. Fear is something that isn't to be afraid of. And a lot of us are anxious about the things that we are thinking, i.e. we're anxious about the things that we're anxious about or we start judging ourselves harshly for the things that we feel. I mean, imagine being you know, afraid of the story that we're telling ourselves, we're afraid of the thing that we think is happening, not afraid of what is more likely to actually happen. So think about it. Think about how fear is ruling you. Think about how fear is challenging you to see things differently. Fear is challenging you to see things in a different way. But you've got to understand that fear is going to show up. Fear is going to play a part in your decisions if you allow it to. And here's the difference. It's moving away from pain or moving towards pleasure. Fear does a very, very good job of helping you avoid pain, avoid the negative, avoid the thing that you don't want, but it's not very good at helping you move towards something. So what happens? You stay stuck. You stay in this limbo period of things aren't awful but things are not great either because moving away from pain moving away from what you're afraid of or what fear is telling you to be afraid of is very very different to moving towards something very very different to moving towards pleasure and some people are afraid of this as well whether they don't feel like they're good enough whether they don't feel like they can have it whether they don't feel like it's worth the effort that it takes to get there all of these things play inside our heads as a way of saying well maybe it's not worth it that is also a story that you're telling yourself now stories can be true or false that is the way it works. You've got to discern between the two. You've got to discern which ones to believe, which ones not to believe, which ones to have any proof for, which ones are just stories, which ones are stories that you want to believe. Now, here's the thing. You've got to want to believe them. Are you more likely to want to believe the negative because it keeps you safe, because it keeps you as you are? That could be the case. Believing a positive story means you may have to be unhappy at first. Maybe you've got to be unhappy with the way things are right now before you will actually change them. And by believing a story that you tell yourself, that means that you stay as you are. You don't have to change. Why would you change? The story is telling you you shouldn't, that you don't need to, that it's not worth it, that the change is never actually going to help. This is the thing that you've got to battle. This is the thing that you've got to have the conversation with. Fear is a conversation. Once you talk it down, once you talk your way around it, over it, or through it, you might actually find that it is actually doable if you change the way that you're doing things right now. But the fear doesn't know that. The fear only knows based on history. It's not going to be able to know based on the future. And being future focused is one of the ways of not overcoming fear, but learning how to dance with the fear, learning how to go about your day, go about your week, even though fear is there. And sometimes you've got to be brave. Sometimes we have got to show courage in the face of adversity. Sometimes you've actually got to take charge of your situation as well. Because if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to get what you've always got unless you change it. And fear is not going to want you to change. Fear is not going to want you to get the results that you want. Because the only way you're not going to have what you want is because of what you're not doing. So in order to do something new, you've got to change. To get new results, you've got to do new things, feel new things, say new things. And most of the time, we don't know what the results are going to be. So fear of the unknown comes into play. So this is the thing. There's fear of failure, fear of success, fear of the unknown, fear of not being able to survive, fear of you know, losing people, losing friends, all those things. They all play a part. 
in making your decisions. The only way you can get around all of these things is to dance with them. You've got to accept them for what they are, accept them that it's probably going to happen. It may happen, it may not happen, but you can do your best. You can do your best with what you have. You can do the most with the resources that you have to hand. And the only way you're ever going to experience anything, i.e. the proof behind the story, the only way you're ever going to really know is by doing it. The only way you're ever going to really know whether the stories that you tell yourself are actually the case is by changing what you do and going after it. At least then you'll know. At least then you'll have some kind of proof and story to back up what you're thinking or feeling. Because otherwise you don't. It's in the actions that you take that the proof is, is none. The proof is in the pudding, so to speak. But if you never get there, if you never get to the end because you're not prepared to change, because you're believing the negative stories instead of the positive ones, even though, if you think about it, one is not better than the other just because it's positive or negative. So you could be lying to yourself if it's negative. You could be lying to yourself if it's positive. But what would you rather have? Would you rather have a positive story that pulls you forwards or a negative story that keeps you as you are? Both of them might not actually be true. But think about it. What would you rather have? What story would you rather have playing inside your head? I know which one I'd rather have, and I'm sure you know which one you would rather have as well. So think about it. Fear is real. Fear is allowed i suppose fear is natural fear is always going to be there and you've got to plan for it you've got to organize yourself and become the person that takes the best action that you can not someone that takes the actions that you've always taken because fear is stopping you from changing i hope that helps let me know if you have any questions regarding the show and if you want to join me you want to become part of the podcast community you want to join us head over to my facebook group i'll put a link for it in the description for the for the podcast hopefully you've enjoyed it share it out tag me tell people about the show and i always appreciate reviews wherever you listen to your podcasts. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and I'll speak to you again very, very soon.